Alright everyone, welcome back. There's no one here. No children playing around, no silver haired girl in a coat. ここ、あんまり使われていないんですか最近はそうみたいだ。俺が子供の頃は日が落ちるまで誰かいたもんだけど、今は休みの日でもない限りこんなもんらしい。そうですか。なんだか寂しいですね。I agree and look up at the sky. The evening sky. The matter red sky without any birds looks lonely, just like the park. We leave the park. With an energetic reply, Sakura follows after me. And the girl. Tosaka Rin reaches her destination, the Mato household, the workshop of the old family of Magi who came to this town 200 years ago. Even though her family gave them land as a cooperator, the Mato family are outsiders they never concerned themselves with. The two families formed a non-aggression pact and bound themselves to not be concerned with each other's affairs. She walks on uncaring. If there was a pact forbidding the two families to associate, it was broken 11 years ago. It was originally formed by the heads of the two families. They had abided by it for 200 years, though its purpose had been forgotten. Neither Tosaka nor Mato have obtained the Holy Grail during that time. 200 years and no success on either side, huh? Their pact was made to obtain the Holy Grail. But since their wish never came true, there is no reason to follow such an ancient pact now. She strides through the front door without ringing the doorbell. She did not come here as a guest. She is here as a master, to eliminate one of her competitors in this game. So, Rin searches through the Mato household with a sour expression. The Holy Grail War provided her with the reason to come here. Therefore, she is not bound by the pact between their families. Even though she persuades herself, she cannot change her personality. She mutters to herself, but it's nothing special. It's not like something important was destroyed by disobeying her father. If she regrets anything... It's the remorse towards someone who has endured it for over 10 years. Rin, Yashiki no madori da ga, kuhak bubun ga futatsu aru. え、どこよそれ。1階。2階からだ。階段にしては狭いが、おそらく地下に通じている。オッケー。ところでアーチャー、気づいてる当然だ。だが害はあるまい。リンが無視する限りは私も気にかけん。she nods to his words and goes to the second floor. Honestly guys, I keep thinking they're done speaking. I don't intend, I don't intentionally mean to interrupt them. It just happens that way. <laughs> Even though the Red Knight is not visible, he is by her side. She brought him in case of combat, but it seems he takes notice of small details. After traversing the house once, he has come up with a blueprint and can point out where the empty spaces are. Ren has come to realize that Archer is skilled in analyzing the design and structure of objects. Hint, hint. I thought it was a bit of a joke, but I thought it was a bit of a joke. The joke is after the joke. That's right, I'm going to get it. Be careful. They stop talking. From the opening in the wall, damp air flows out in the pathway to the basement. The rotten smell is unbearable even for Archer, who has not taken form. Home of the worms. They come down to a damp stone paving. Murky greenish darkness engulfs them. The numerous holes must be to bury dead people. 
In these stone chambers, the corpse the corpses decompose and fade away, leaving the holes empty to await their next occupant. It's like the process of burial above ground. The, diff the only difference is the process of decomposition. It is not the sword that decomposes the corpse here, but the writhing mass of worms. She gets dizzy. It's not because of disgust or chill. It is anger that causes her to shudder, repent, and vomit. This is the training ground. A place like this is used as a training ground. This space containing rotten moisture, the smell of corpses, and infinite worms is the room given to the successor of the Mato family. <coughs> what can one learn in such a place? The only thing here is breeding stock. Worms to breed, worms to raise, worms to train. The people of Mato are trained to urge and bred their successor with these worms. How different is this world from her own? The cold-hearted ways, the difficulty of the tasks, and the pain of the engraved magic circuit. She's not comparing the severity as the successor. If one is to talk about the burden and sufferings and the harshness, hers is incomparable. She overcame more difficulties and hardships than anyone. That is why she's a genius magus, and an average one, the user of the five elements that the Magic Association is accepting as a scholarship student. If one orders her to command the worms in this room, she will be able to create a superior spell in half a year. Rin can create a spell that the successor of the Mato family has been unable to create even after 10 years. But this method of learning is madness. If asked whether she could can withstand being violated by these worms, she can only hesitate. The inheritance of the magic here is not the study, but a torture. A magic that is taught not to the mind, but to the body. That is how the Makiris pass on their magic, and this is the preference of the old magus, Mato Zokin. Therefore, to be chosen as the successor of the Mato family means to be tortured forever. Can't you like obliterate some of the worms at least? Like, come on, just get rid of them. She leaves the stone room, suppressing her urge to scream. Her footsteps fade. After that, the worms swarm around what she has vomited out. She returns to the ground floor. Her business finished, she makes for the door end. Shinji! She calls out to the person hiding in the other secret pathway. <笑><笑>さっきまで無視して帰るつもりだったけど気が変わったわ。少し話をしましょう、マト君。Mato Shinji glares at Rin, but follows her request. He is obviously afraid of her. Good! His fear is not because of facing a master and her servant, but rather because of the threatening attitude she's taking. Huzakenna, <laughs> <笑>私たち同じ学校の生徒でしょ遊びに来てもおかしくないと思うけど笑わせるな鍵を壊して入ってきて散々うちを荒らしたくせに遊びに来たってへへ父親が死んでから礼儀も何もなくなったって聞い
Tosaka then is currently staring at Mato Shinji, who has his back to the wall. ならなんでマスターになんてなったのよ、あんたは。それは…だから… A grating sound. Even though he is cornered by Tosaka, he swallows his words. He was willing to tell her anything she wanted to know about the old man. This girl is dangerous right now. There's no telling what she will do if he keeps quiet. In the worst case, she might simply kill him out of rage. <laughs> but he can't say it. Telling her why he became a master is like asking for death. Even if. It's something trivial for others. お前違うマトウの家に生まれながらあなたには魔術回路がなかったけどそれはあなたのせいじゃないわもともとマトウの血は薄れていたこの土地に根を張った時から探求者としてのマトウの責務は薄れていたのよだっていうのにあなたはそ
She heads for the door, not even bothering to treat Shinji as an enemy. His voice burns with hatred, but he can do nothing but watch her go. He will surely be killed if he attacks her here. Even Mato Shinji can see the difference in their powers. A voice filled with deep resentment. She stops and says goodbye to the boy that used to be the successor. いい こればっかりは生まれつき壊れてないとモテない矛盾だから。シンジ、あんたは他人を下げ済むことで同時に抱かなくてもいい劣等感を抱いた典型よ。自分が好きなあまり周りを下に見たものの見下す相手が上にいる
Sakura tenses up every time she starts to cut something, but she keeps cooking like she used to it after that. I watch it absentmindedly. The evening living room. A daily life here with Sakura where time passes slowly. I suddenly realize how hard this life is to, to, to obtain. It must be because I'll be going to battle at night. I finally realize how important this time is for me. Sakura <laughs> I don't know what Matozokin is planning, but I won't let him touch her. I've come in contact with Sakura too many times the past few days, causing me to be bewildered about her change. I thought I was confused by her femininity, but that's wrong. If I'm confused, it started long before that. I hear her humming in the kitchen. These simple trivial things are important to me. I pour myself a third cup of tea and watch the red tinted scenery. Maybe there's some alcohol in the tea because the passing time feels slow and tender. The town falls asleep. It's just past 10 o'clock but it seems like it's midnight. It must be because of all the unexplained comas. There are no lights and nobody's walking about. あちゃんのマスターも無茶を言ってくれますね。なあ。けど、やるしかないだろ。セイバーは反対か。私の考えは朝に告げた通りです。それでしろ、何か手がかりはあるのですか。闇雲に街を巡回するのでは逆に的に
Now that Saber mentions it, it's not a healthy it's not healthy for a girl Sakura's age to always be busy helping around the house. She says it's fun to be here, but she should at least go outside to hang out once in a while. ありがとう、セイバ。桜を心配してくれて。聖杯戦争に関係ない桜を気にかけてくれたのはすごく嬉しい。いえ、自責に駆られる彼女の気持ちは私にもあったものです。ですから、他人事には思えなかったのでしょ
a snicker. It's that old Magus. He's hiding somewhere.